Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Hello. So this morning, I wanted to stop by just to share some things with you all. Just to give you a heads up. The Brussels sprouts. Mm. Check this out, y'all. This is Jada's old truck rim. Mm -hmm. This is what she's doing. So cool. But I wanted to stop in and talk to you all about what's going on. So there is about 189 million gardeners, backyard gardeners, like you and I in America. And the big gardening companies are definitely trying to tap in to this of what we got going on here. There was maybe last year and the year before, one of the questions was asked to me, do backyard gardeners you know, do we have, could we buy GMO seeds? And the answer was no. Well, family, today, if you ask me that question, I will tell you yes. And that is because a science company called Norfolk have developed a tomato it, it is called the purple tomato that is the name of it the purple tomato because of this stuff you see that purple it's a superfood not only is a superfood it contains anthocyanins we've talked about that many times and that is t amazing things that happens in, and it's so good for our bodies. They have developed a tomato and this tomato have the DNA of a purple snapdragon. They took the DNA from a purple snapdragon and infused it into a tomato seed. And they came up with this. It is called the purple tomato. It's a GMO. Don't get confused. It's a GMO. What's a GMO? It's made in a lab. Not only is made in a lab and it's a GMO, remember the things that happens to the body when you eat GMOs. One of the things that happens is when you eat enough of this stuff, your body begin to resist antibiotics. Have you ever had a sore throat or your child had a sore throat or whatever, you went to the doctor and they gave him some antibiotics, cleared it right up. Well, GMOs will have your body resistant to antibiotics. And not only that, the worst of it, it is it causes cancer. It causes cancer. So, the GMOs, they're not only hitting us in the stores where everything you purchase have GMO products in it, bioengineered foods, same thing, okay? Bioengineered foods are the product of a GMO seed. So now they're offering it to 
backyard gardeners to grow it now in their own garden. There's a couple of things that will happen when you grow these seeds in your backyard. Well, they said the advantage of it is that um, it's pest resistant, right? They say it's more nutrient than a regular tomato, right? But, you know, it, it just makes me wonder if it's more nutrient for me, then why is it killing me? But anyway, that, that's just one of my questions. But these big companies with these seeds, they want to tap in to our pockets. That's what it's all about, family. So, I want to give you all a heads up about the purple tomato and the GMO seeds that is now available to backyard gardeners. So, tomorrow night is Tuesday. I will be discussing this purple tomato in depth. I have been researching this for about three weeks. This seed have been, this, this GMO seed, they have been working on this thing for over 20 years. But I will talk about it more in depth. I will let you know exactly what I know about this purple tomato and these GMO seeds on my Tuesday Night Live at 7 Central Time, 7 p.m. Central Time on the New Orleans Garden Channel, okay? I hope to see you there. Keep your head up, baby. Keep your head up because they coming. They coming for us. <laughs> yeah.